Welcome back, Odoers. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the Front Desk application. Front Desk is an Odoo interface used to check in visitors. They also notify the person that they are meeting and lets them order a beverage while they wait. We just built a new reception area on the other side of the building for custom-made furniture pickup. The area is secure so no one can get into the warehouse, but we need to know when they show up. So to do that, we're going to configure a Front Desk kiosk where customers can sign in. Now enough chit chat, let's jump into our database and see how to set this all up. So here in our dashboard, you can see all the currently configured front desk stations represented by individual Kanban cards. On each of these cards, you can see the name of the station, which happens to be at the top. Any visitors who are currently checked in as well, which happens to be the on-site. Visitors that are planned, any drinks that need to be served. When the last check-in occurred as well, and who is assigned to manage the front desk, which happens to be in the bottom right. And we can also add some if we'd like to. So today I'm going to make a station for our new furniture pickup area. I'm just gonna select new in the top left corner just to get us started immediately. So now we have our blank front desk form. So first I'm gonna have to give this a name, which as you guessed it, furniture pickup. All right, well, actually pickup is one word. There we go, small odoopsy. Next, I'm going to select who manages this front desk inside of the responsibles field. And I think this time we need somebody new. Let's go with Maggie Davidson. So if I wanted to, I can actually add an image over here on the far right corner. Keep in mind, this image fills the entire background of the front desk kiosk. So I'm going to keep it the default gray background. So I'm going to skip this. We don't need a stretched out image right now. So underneath the options tab that we're on over here, I have some settings that I need to configure. I'm gonna actually tick the checkbox over here that says host selection. This option lets our visitors select the person they're here to meet. As you can see, when I select this, some notification options appear. These end up determining that their guest is here and this is how they're going to be notified. Our options are to notify them by email and SMS as well. If I wanted to send an email or text, I would just select both of these and then you'll notice immediately I am prompted to select the template to use. There is a default template that is available for each of these. And then if you'll actually notice, notify by discuss happens to be the default selection. And I actually prefer this option. So I'm going to leave this one selected. We're going to unselect the other two now. Okay. I know the first option made us bounce around the form, but next up is the authenticate guest option field that we have right there. This determines what information guests are required to enter when checking in. I don't need their email address, but I'll let it be optional in our case. So I'm going to select that. And that means that the field appears on the check-in screen, but it's not required. I do need their phone number, however, which is selected by default, which is kind of nice. As for the organization, mm, do we really need to know where they're coming from? No, that field won't even appear now on the form. So next thing we want to look at is this self check-in option that we have over here to the right. I'm going to tick this checkbox and you'll see why soon enough. Selecting this displays a QR code on the kiosk so visitors can check in on their mobile phone instead of using the physical kiosk itself. This is especially useful if you have a busy reception area with lots of visitors. Next, we can also decide if we want to offer drinks. I'm going to activate this option because I am an amazing host. Since sometimes it can take a little while to get me an order out over to the customer and they might get thirsty. I need to select the drinks being offered at this particular station using this drop down menu that we have right here. I think we have right now Odoo has cola and water pre configured upon installation of the front desk app. And I'm going to select both of these. So we're going to start by selecting cola. Then we're going to select water. Great. And up next in the bottom right corner, we can decide what kind of theme we want to use for our kiosk. What are you guys thinking for this light or dark? I like the light one, so I'm going to leave it as is for now. Last is finally the side message tab over here. We can leave a message for our guests for this specific kiosk. For example, you could display the guest Wi-Fi login info or any instructions they might need, like if they need to go to a specific place after checking in. I'm going to display a message telling them to have their invoice and photo ID ready, which they're going to need to pick up anything. So I'm going to go up ahead and make sure that I have my nice little message copy and pasted. Let's have that ready to go. Boom. Would you look at that, Odoers? We have both of them already set right there. 
Please have a seat while we bring your furniture out. Everything is pretty simple right there. And as well as the manual save button. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And did you see that, oh doers? The kiosk URL field populated on its own for this specific front desk. And that's it. I'm going to select the station's breadcrumb. Now we can see our new front desk on our dashboard over here. Now we currently offer water and cola, but we're getting a coffee machine installed in the break room next week. When it's ready, I want to offer coffee to our guests. Next week is going to be busy, so I want to set this up now. This way, when the machine is up and running, I can add coffee to our list of options right away. So to set that up, we need to configure a new drink. So to do that, I'm going to select configuration and you guessed it, drinks. So on this drinks dashboard, I can add a coffee option by selecting new in the top left corner over here. And now we have our blank form. Let's type it in. Remember to capitalize it because we're not animals right there. So I also need to select who is responsible for this, getting this drink. Maggie is in charge of the furniture pickup front desk station. So I'm going to select her under the people to notify. Maggie Davidson, perfect. Okay, I also have this sequence field over here. This determines the order this drink appears in the list. I'm going to leave it at one since I want this to appear first. And last, I want to add a photo. So we're going to hover over here and add our nice little photo. It's a nice little coffee mug right there, and it's beautiful. Be sure to upload a square photo, or it's going to get squished to make it a square. And that's how easy it is to add another drink option. Okay, now that we've configured a new front desk and I showed you how to add more drink options, let's see how our new front desk looks. So to access my front desks, I need to go back over here to stations. So let's select stations right there. I'm going to click on the open desk for the furniture pickup right there. And we're going to select our URL. And here we are at our front desk and look at how nice that is. I can actually scan this QR code in the corner to check in from my phone or I can manually check in. Let's try it out. So to do that, I'm going to select check in over here and enter my info. I'm going to fill out the your name, Jose2. And remember, I don't need to enter my email because it's not required. I can tell because it doesn't have a red asterisk like the other fields do right at the end of them. But remember, I also need to type in a phone number, a very real phone number. All right, there we go. I just need to select who I am seeing, and that happens to be Zadie Roberts. So we're going to select confirm, and then now I do want a drink. So I'm going to select yes, please. And would you look at that? While I was gone, I actually went back and I added the coffee as one of the drinks available here. Now, in my case, though, I don't want coffee, so I'm going to select water because hydration is important. And that's it. So back over here on the front desk application, would you look at that? When we look at the furniture pickup card, I could see someone happens to be checked in with the one on site and one drink needs to be served over here with the one drinks to serve. And that's how we set up our front desks with Odoo. Pretty quick and easy, right? Thank you for watching and remember, stay hydrated. Order the water.